good to see you here at your state capitol, to see you here in this building at this time of year and showing your strength in your numbers and in your message. Uh, as a House member, I served as Vice Chair with Representative Jim Abler on the Health and Human Services Committee. What a lesson in learning about both finances, about policy, and genuine love and care for the people that we serve here in Minnesota. You do a great job, and my first message is thank you to all of the personal care attendants, whether it's Wayward, group homes, every area, private homes, in group situations. Uh, you are much appreciated and valued, and that needs to be shown, though, in a real tangible way with a 5% increase. We all know that when we are setting our budgets and spending money, you want to make sure you take care of the meat and potatoes before you have dessert. That's my mother's. You are the meat and potatoes. And it's important to recognize that because it's an example of priorities. Prioritizing that which is essential. And the neediest among us and the most vulnerable among us deserve and should have the best care we can provide them and to pay those providers a fair and appropriate wage and 5% is not too much. I learned some of those lessons about prioritizing, but what was so disappointing in this past legislative session that with an increase of $2.1 billion, $2.1 billion, in new taxes, we couldn't find 5%, 86 million, for those who take care of the neediest. That's really disappointing. The increased fees, another three, 400 million. No money for the 5% that you deserve. We increased spending in addition to that, another two billion, and yet we still couldn't find. And so, talk is cheap, right? We want action of the 5%, you deserve it, and I will support you. Thank you.